I hope you guys are doing good today. I'm kind of sleepy and hungry. <sighs> Alright y'all, ignore that call. I'm just calling my college. I got a question for them. But anyways, I got some things coming in the mail from Amazon. And I just wanted to show you guys what I've got so far. So I got this controller stand. I also got this Logitech or however you say it. A wireless mouse. I put my other mouse away. I forgot what it was called, a razor or whatever. Y'all yeah, know that popular brand. I'm also making sure that that I don't miss the call because I've been waiting for a little time or whatever. So let's set this up and I'll show you guys. This is looks really cute. It's a clear stand, it's really cute, and it's just a basic black Logitech mouse. It was pricey, I think it was like $37. I mean it's Logitech, what do you expect? And it's wireless, so not mad about it. So here's the stand. Looks really nice and crisp. And you can also put like see I put silicone tape here so doesn't fall just in case but yeah it's really nice it was pricey but you know for the aesthetics or whatever and then here's the wireless mouse at first i was freaked because it came with the wire and i was like oh my god that i ordered the wrong thing but that's just for backup i guess the usb thingy i was inside of here which pretty cool pretty cool so you know less wires yay i actually cleaned this not too long ago but Looks like I gotta clean it again. This thing gets messy real quick. It's probably because I eat snacks in here too, besides playing the game. But yeah, I'm happy about that. And this little night light. Hold on, let me turn off the light. Good vibes. Yay! So cute. I got that from Amazon as well. It's linked in my Amazon storefront, so check that out. And we got a lot of. SD cards. A lot of footage ready for you guys. I know I keep saying I'm upload things, but you know, here we are making this video, so I must be on something. But uh, today we're gonna do vlog style. We're gonna do some vlogs. I prefer doing vlogs than anything else, to be honest. So we have a lot to do today. I'm gonna try to clean this up a little bit. Oh, by the way, guys, the blinds are finally up. Apartment tour should be coming really soon. So yeah, the kitchen is looking like a mess. Did cook yesterday, but uh, you know, and I'm gonna make a banana shake because those those are about to just die if I don't use them. And clean that, kind of just like wash that by hand to be honest, because you I'm not gonna put that in the washer and dryer. And then put that up in the bathroom. Make the bed. Yeah, make the bed. What else? What else? I mean, it's looking like a nightmare. Oh, I have another sign right there. I don't like the wires, but I prefer that than putting batteries in the thing, so it's whatever. And look, see? It looks like it's just right. I have two with the size of this window compared to the other apartment. I don't know. I might put the other one too, but I'm telling y'all, they might not look heavy, but these are heavy curtains. They are. Compared to the living room. Lots of fun stuff. I'm watching a little forensic files in the bag. Y'all know me. But before we do all that, I'm gonna make some make some perico. If you don't know what that is, you'll see. It's basically in English terms, it's just eggs and uh, tomatoes together. So don't knock it till you try it, okay? Seriously. Let's see. Where are my don't turn out my tomatoes? I know I have tomatoes. Okay. Hold on. I got my tomatoes right there, got the eggs. I will clean this up, but I'm gonna cook, so I'm gonna clean this up later on. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do four eggs. I've been doing three, but honestly, it doesn't fill me up, so I'm just gonna do four. This is personally what I like to add to it. You don't have to, the accent, you know, mm. Ooh, Cannot do this without accent, okay? Just can't. Salt and pepper, yeah, no, yeah, no, the basics. You know, just like if you were making eggs, salt and pepper. If you don't season your eggs, I don't know, but I, I don't know what to tell you. So boom, I turn on the thing, gotta, boom, a little more. Use a non-stick pan. Honestly, it is better to do it in a bowl and mix it, but I'm just too lazy to do that. I don't wanna have to clean that up either, you know what I mean? I just, I don't like to do that. I'm lazy like that. But see, you can do what you prefer to do. It's just what I like to do. Make sure there's no shells. If so, get them, obviously. Boom. And throw away the shells, unless you want them in your carton thing. That's fine with me. Okay, so first we're gonna let, we're gonna kinda cook the eggs first. You see what I mean. This is what it looks like so far. While the eggs are cooking, you clean up as you go. 
about one. I mean, simple. I got some coffee already ready for me. A little higher heat. So while that's doing its thing, we gotta keep moving. You gotta chop up these tomatoes. But before we do that, gotta season it with some salt. I don't go crazy on the salt. I mean, it's do it to taste, obviously, but I don't go crazy on the salt. Once I put the accent to me, I feel like that's what really gives it the flavor. Well, besides the salt, but you know what I mean. First, I'm gonna wash my hands. Don't look too hard over here, y'all. It's, it's dirty. It's dirty, I know. I know. Don't judge my cutting. I mean, it's not that serious. I'm not uh, Chef Ramsey, okay? I'm not him. I'm just me, okay? So I'm doing the best I can, y'all. I really, really cut them into really, really tiny pieces because, of course, they're going to go with the eggs and I don't know. I mean, like I said, it's just however you want to do it, but that's just how we do it. So. I'm sure there's an easier way to cut these, but again, I'm not a chef. Although I would have loved to be one. I'm not going to use the whole tomato, I never do, but just, you just kind of eyeball it, really. I usually put it in there with the eggs, and then I usually add a little more, because it, it looks like it's enough, but it's not enough. Well, now with four eggs that I put in there, it's going to be a lot more. So y'all see how that's doing this thing? I feel like I shouldn't have to tell you, make sure you wash your tomato, okay? I don't care what you think, where you got it from, whatever, whatever. Please wash it. Please, please. You never know. Did y'all know Forensic Files? They came out with the Forensic Files 2. And they got a new guy with a new voice. Like, no. No. He sucks. Have y'all heard it? Have y'all seen Forensic Files 2? Hate it. I still like the show, but... You know what, it always, to me, it's like the narrator can either make or break the show. The narrator of Forensic Files 1, which is the one I'm watching right now, is so good. I really like him. Like, he's just right. He's perfect. I love his voice. But this, the guy in Forensic Files 2, he's just not it. I don't like him. I don't know. I'm going to still watch it, but it's like, eh, where's, where's the guy? Just some thoughts. You want to cook these in there, too. So, boom, you just literally throw them in there. Oh my goodness, I'm telling y'all, try this. Oh, so, so good. And remember, don't forget about the accent. I like to do the accent once I'm done putting all of the tomatoes in there. Just because I don't want to keep going back and adding more and more accent. And then it's just too much. Use this side, don't use this side. Trust me, don't trust it, okay? Imagine me just going in there, just trusting it and putting a lot, thinking it's this side. Yeah. Just look first, okay? I know. It probably don't happen to you, but it happened to me, so just warning you. Before everything is almost ready, let's put my coffee in there so it's nice and warm and perfect. I'm going to do it for a minute. Maybe longer, just depends. So yeah, that's still doing its thing. Y'all see? It's just right now. This is where I'm going to go in and add it. Obviously, to taste, I don't really go crazy, but I just kind of put it all over, and then that should be good. And then we just kind of mix it around. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. I know maybe to some it doesn't look appealing. But telling you, this tastes so good. Mm, mm, mm. Now, if I wanted to go out of my way, I would make an arepa with this. And kind of fill the arepa uh, with this inside of the arepa. But today I'm feeling lazy. So I'm just going to get some bread. Eat it with the bread. Yeah, we'll see. Really, this is breakfast food. When you think of eggs, it's breakfast. But to be honest, it's not. I mean, I do this at any time. I mean, it's 1 o'clock, so. <laughs> I don't really care. Let's get the bread. Excuse my pantry, honestly, at this point, I don't even care. I like these plastic ones because they just easier to clean, to be honest. So grab either two or three slices of bread. I'm never going to eat the front of the bread like this. It's never gonna get eaten by me, like <laughs> maybe somebody else. And on top of that, I take out the little crust at the beginning of the bread. I I don't like it so. But if you like the front or the butt of the bread, then that's on you. You're a psychopath, but it's okay. 
It's okay. At least you're saving food. Good job. Real simple, real good. Too good. It is a little bit later, so before we head out to go to the library, I got a couple things to do here. Let's put these dishes in the dishwasher. Get yeah, whatever's in the dishwasher put away, all that good stuff. Now that we've done that, we're going to put all the dirty dishes away. Do this real quick too. First, I'm just going to start off by really just wiping all this down first. some pine salt in there with some hot water so we're almost done i just gotta spray some other stuff the counters and then clean up a little bit i will vacuum and or mop maybe tomorrow or sometime later today i just i got other stuff to do today these towels are from target or whatever they're called right? kitchen towels whatever towels literally towels the orange ones at least i'm not sure where the owl ones are from I have a set of two, I just use one though. I'm not sure where it's from, but it's really old. But you can find something similar, I'm sure. Listen, it's not the most beautiful, but I honestly don't really care because these towels they do get used. Let me not forget to make that banana shake. I'll show you guys how I do that later. Just wanted to show you guys this. My mom bought me this thing that instead of lighting this on, you know, how you would light it with a lighter. Instead, you use this and it's a candle warmer and it lasts longer. But honestly, I don't know if it's just that I have a lot of allergies these days or what. But honestly, I don't really smell it as much. So I don't know if it's a waste. But the candle does last longer. But the thing is, when you're starting a brand new candle like this one, it takes forever for the candle to melt. Whereas, you know, if you were just to light it, it, it would be quicker. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's working, to be honest. Also, I don't know if I remember I told you guys I was going to get rid of that air fryer. Well, I ended up using it, and now I like it. Just, you know, the only thing about it is that timer thing, but it's all good. I guess if I have to do it, I could just do it for less time and then adjust it again if I have to do more time. So, I guess, first world problems, it's all good. Honestly, the whole house can be a mess, but as long as the kitchen's clean, I'm like, listen, I don't even care. And the finished touches. Ta-da! Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, let's just make the bed in the bedroom and put some stuff away over there. Take this box out, put that in the bathroom, and should be getting ready to go. By the way, I'm not sure if I showed you guys this book, but... Let Adult Him Again. It's real cool. Check it out. Target. So let me just put this away. In the bedroom. Boom. This bottle goes. Have you guys tried this? I actually think it works. I sprayed it and I think it works. Better work for the price. This pen goes over here. I gotta print some stuff out too before I go, but I make sure to take care of that. Alright, let's put these shoes away in the closet. Listen, y'all, you don't even wanna know. You don't even wanna know, I got too much. These socks are clean. Y'all, I take this comforter to the cleaners now. I can't wash it in the regular wash and dryer. First of all, that wash and dryer is so tiny, so I can't do that. I try to keep it clean, but it's a white comforter, so what can you expect? But 
the plus is that it feels like you're on a cloud. So that's what I tell myself <laughs> to make it worth it. These pillows are from Ikea and the covers are from Ikea as well. Are we surprised? And these pillows came from the set that was bought with the bed and the bed frame is for rooms to go. It's actually really quick to do the bed, honestly, guys. I also took out the trash. Let me take this to the car. I'm going to take this and this to the car. I'm finally getting rid of my Mac, but I'm not going to sell it. I'm just going to give it to my mom because, guys, if you have an old Mac, honestly, don't even try to sell it. They will not give you a penny for it. It's worth nothing. And my computer is perfectly fine. It's just old, you know, and you know how that is. Once things are old, it loses the value by triple. So, you know, it was once worth like 1000 and up. Yeah, now it's like probably 200 Just disrespectful, guys. <laughs> Keep it. I don't know. Give it to somebody you love. I don't know, but don't sell it. For the price you paid? No, ma'am. I don't think so. Let me charge my phone real quick before we head out. Ooh, and by the way, y'all see this? Y'all see the charger? Mm. If you know, you know. This charger is super fast. It charges so, so fast. Right now, the time is 4.13. And the battery is at 71%. The bathroom doesn't really need too much. Honestly, I gotta, I gotta clean the sink, but I'm not doing all that right now. I don't feel like doing all that. To me, that's cleaning hardcore right now, and I don't feel like doing all that, to be honest. So, just don't. Clean this table off real quick because it just looks disgusting, and I can't look at it for one more second. I just can't. If you don't have three fans going when you go to sleep, what are you doing? One, two, and three. Okay, it's needed. All right, guys, so this is the best I'm gonna do for now. It's actually the best that it's looked in a while, especially this area. <coughs> Not my area, <laughs> but <laughs> this is my area. I know my area might look real bad. Maybe it doesn't, I don't know, but listen. And I stand, don't even talk about it because one, I need the water, duh. Need the tissues, allergies been going crazy. Need the air, uh, air purifier. Need the little switch to turn on the fan over there. Need the fire stick to turn on the TV. And the, the Vaseline, come on now. Essentials. Eventually, I'm going to get uh, the matching nightstand to that one. But um, patience, guys, okay? I'm telling y'all, just one nightstand. Let me tell you how much one nightstand costs. Guess. Did you guess? It's $350. Plus tax. Although I would love it. I would love it, love it. Because it's going to be just right. You won't be able to see all the wires. So it'll be perfect. I'm going to be able to put a lot more storage. I'm really excited about it. But I'm not in a rush, you know? Actually, you know what? I'm going to stop talking because the apartment tour is coming soon. So if I spoil it all for you guys now, you guys won't want to see the tour. Let me put on my clothes and we should be heading out. I'm almost ready. And as I notice, looks like I got to clean that mirror too. So I'm aware. I'm not sure if it's a good idea because it's going to rain, but I'm not going to be too long. I also put some deodorant on. I'm about to spray myself with some perfume. Now, I don't know where this perfume, perfume is from because my friend gave it to me years ago. So I'm trying to venture to new perfumes. But it seems like perfumes just last forever, guys. My mom gave me this one for my birthday, and I love it. Perfume expires, but this is really strong, I'm telling you. Guys, you gotta invest in real stuff. When you get older, don't be investing in fake stuff, okay? I know it's expensive, but it's gonna last you a long time. And this one I got because of the hype on TikTok, and they were saying it was really good. Honestly, no. I wish I would've, like, smelled it before. Uh, I went to Walmart and bought it, so it was on discount. And I got really excited and just bought it without smelling it. But eh, I don't see the hype. People are like, oh, it smells so good, it's not, nah. I mean, it's, it looks cool or whatever, but I'm not in it for the looks, I'm more in it for the smell, you know? I like more, I don't know if I explain myself whenever I say, whenever I give examples of smells, but like, I like a grown woman smell. I don't like a, a fruity teacher smell, like, no, no, I need a grown woman smell, you know what I mean? Just like I like a sexy man smell. I don't know, I don't know. I can't explain it, okay? The ladies, I get it, get it, okay? And I'm not knocking the floral ladies. You do what you do. I just like my smells, okay? Before I forget, let's see what the percentage is on. It's 442. 442. What was the percentage on? 90%. You see that? Boom. Bada bing, bada bing. I made it to the library. I'm not gonna show the name because I want my privacy, but I made it. There's not a lot of cars here, so that's nice. I'm not gonna stay here. I'm just gonna look around and see if I maybe pick out one or two books and then the rest I'm planning to just do online. 
So, let's see. I'm gonna get a library card first, of course. Guys, I found it. Oh, I'm about to cry. This is a good movie. I'm gonna take it home. I'm gonna watch it and cry. No regrets. I just want to show you guys what I got. I got this one book. There's another book, but I'm just going to get the audiobook because it's online. This one from my stomach. Got to read that, and I'm going to watch this today. If you haven't watched it already, watch it. You're going to cry. If you don't cry, okay. Oh, well, I do. I don't care. All right, guys, I made it home. I was at the library for, what, two hours? I was having fun looking at the books. It's just really nice. The library is just different. I had not gone in a long time, so it was really nice. Did you guys know that the library has CDs and DVDs and Blu-rays and all that stuff? I don't know. I didn't know that. If you knew, cool, but I didn't know that. That's cool. I mean, I'm not there for Blu-rays, but I did get one just because I love Hachi so much. I gotta get my own art DVD of Hachi. I love that movie. It's so good. But anyways, I went there because I my grandpa passed away and he just meant so much to me and I'm trying to find a way to deal with it, so I think the best way to do that is through reading, trying to understand, so I'm going to do that. As you can tell, this is still a very sensitive topic, so I'm not posting this clip uh, for you guys to feel sorry for me or say anything that's going to hurt my feelings. Please don't, don't even do that. <laughs> Just to show you guys the real me, the raw me, you know. Um, you know, we all have emotions and we all deal with grief differently. So, yeah, you just have to respect that and take it day by day. I got two books about grief. One, is, one of them is an audiobook and the other one is a hard copy book. I honestly preferred a hard copy book, but these days, you know, you're just on the go. So hopefully on the way to work, I could just play that. But my thing about that is, since it's a book about grief, I don't want to cry and then get to work all like sad. So I don't know. We'll see. Let's make some pasta and just relax. And I don't think I'm going to do anything else as far as cleaning. Cause I don't feel like it. I just, I was listening to the audiobook on the way uh, on the way back and I just it, it wasn't even enough to where it got me sad but it's just like the thought of it you know so yeah we're just gonna chill make some pasta enjoy the day it's supposed to be a rainy week so that should be really nice also I don't know if you guys can see him but he's all around the room he's everywhere I go uh, He's over there in the wall back there. I'll show you guys when I, when I do the tour, but he's everywhere. I think of him all the time. And I even got his signature tatted on me. So he's with me everywhere I go. So that's really nice. My first tattoo, by the way. Oh, I gotta, I gotta insert that clip in this video. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be tight. Yeah, but look. Got him right there. Super cute. He wrote me two letters. Does it hurt? What does it feel like? I'm trying to find the right words for this pain. Do you like the pain? It's so bad. Um, I don't like the pain, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Annoying. Yeah. More annoying than But I always put the pasta in first. For some reason, it makes a difference.
right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the books. The After Grief, Finding Your Way Along the Long Arc of Lost.